Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. I'm gonna make, I had a feeling, I had a feeling, I had an urging for me some whole cakes or Johnny cakes or uh, cornmeal pancakes or fried cornbread, however you call it. That's what I'm gonna make today. This is a uh, very simple, very easy. You fry it right on top of the skillet. You ain't got it, it's more quicker than cooking it in the oven, of course. Simple recipe, simple theme. My mom grew up, I don't know how many I had these growing up, y'all. If you grew up in the country, I know you had some whole cakes growing up. Uh, but I definitely, definitely did. So, simple ingredients. I got some self-rising cornmeal here. I got some, this one was sent to me a few months ago by an individual. It's the White Lily brand. You know, White Lily makes good product. But it's a White Lily self-rising cornmeal mix. So we got to be a cornmeal mix, self-rising. And I got a cup already in there, y'all. I already was measuring it out. I'm going to set this back to the side. I got a cup of all-purpose flour here. I got a little sugar there. We're going to mix all this stuff together, y'all. Let me mix this egg up. Mix this egg up here. I'm going to throw this egg in there. Kind of mix these dry up first. So dry mix together. All right. We're gonna throw our egg in there, y'all. I got some vegetable oil. You can use bacon grease. You can use melted butter. Whatever you want to use. And some whole buttermilk there, y'all. I might have to add a little water to this, y'all, depending on how thick and thin it is. We're gonna mix this bad boy up, y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna need a little water. I'm gonna add to this. A little water to this, y'all. Kind of thin it out. You don't want it too thick and you don't want it too thin. That's about all I want right here. That's about as thick as I want right there, y'all. Yep. Got my whisk on when I stay together. There we go. Show y'all the thickness of it. It's as thick as I want it right there. See that? That's as thick as you want it. Okay, we got our skillet heating up over there. I'm wait till the skillet gets really hot the way I want it. And we're gonna start frying these bad boys off. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Okay, y'all, we're gonna move over here to the skillet here. And we're gonna get to frying this off here. Turn this down just a little. My oil got too hot on me. Let me see here. It got too hot here. Oh, yeah, I'm going to let this oil cool down just a little here. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Okay, y'all, let's start frying off some, some bread here. Get in there. Like I say, you don't want your fire too hot. Do not want your fire too hot, y'all. There we go. If I can get one more in there, see when those move around. I got one more. I can get five out of here, y'all. I'm gonna get those moved around a little. I don't want to move them around too much. I definitely don't want to overcrowd the skillet. There we go. Right in there. All righty. Now all we gonna do, y'all, we gonna uh, let these brown up a little. Probably about two or three minutes on each side. And then we'll flip them over and uh, let it brown on the other side. And we'll sample these. I love these things, y'all. Give me some black eyed peas or purple hub peas, actually, or some cream peas or some mustard greens, or some cabbage. And this on the side is what my mama used to make all the time. Some of this on the side, hey, it's on. It is on, what it say, it's on and popping. So anyway, I'm gonna let these brown off, flip them over, and we will be right back. Old school whole cakes, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. All right, y'all, 
I flipped one over. Let's start flipping these other ones over, y'all. You just kind of flip them over just like that. Flip this one over. Flip this bad boy over. Come out. Come out. There we go. That one in the middle, I know it's got a little bit to go. Before I flip it over. Just say, y'all, nothing like old school whole cakes, y'all. Nothing better. Let me see if I can get this in the middle. It's ready to, oh yeah, it's, it's ready to flip over. Hey, Chef Jeffrey, don't forget about me. I'm ready to get flipped over. So, anyway, I'm going to let these cook off. We'll be back, and we'll see how good these are. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Check this out, y'all. Check these bad boys out. Look at that. Look at that. Think that look good? Fried cornbread, y'all. Can't go wrong, right? With some fried cornbread, y'all. All right, y'all. One of choice here. Which one I'm going to get? The big one? Get the big one there. Look at that. Let me open this up so y'all can see inside. It ain't done. It ain't done. Oh, yeah. They done. Look how fluffy they are. See that? Look at that. So how I'm going to eat these? You can eat it just like that with some butter on it. I can eat it with some syrup. Like I say, eat it with some green. I'm going to eat it. I got me some muscadine jelly. I got some Cooper Farms in Fairfield. Y'all know what Fairfield, Texas is. Go to Cooper Farms. I got me some muscadine jelly. Something I cannot make because I don't have access to muscadine grapes. But look at that, y'all. My old muscadine jelly. So we're going to try some of this on the... Uh, put a little this here. Try a little muscadine jelly with it. A little piece off of that. Little muscadine jelly on there, y'all. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Take a piece. Take a bite. Go in. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Y'all. Mm. Never had whole cakes. You don't know what you're missing. It's really like a, to me, like a cornmeal pancake. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Cornmeal pancake. Look at y'all. Come on, take a bite. Y'all didn't take a bigger bite. Come on. Go on in. Mm. Nice and fluffy. Crispy on the outside. Moist. And tender in the inside. That's like a whole cake was to be. And you see how simple the recipe is. And y'all, what well, I'm probably going to do for about three of these, I eat one and a half of these, I mean two of them, I'm going to put the other two in the freezer, three in the freezer, I'm gonna freeze them. Every time I don't need some mustard greens or whatever, I need some cornbread, I just pull it out. So anyway, let me close this video out. If you like the video, <clears throat> sorry y'all. Please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media account. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Trenches, TikTok, and OldSchoolTopo.com. Remember the hashtag 2324. <laughs> Just show some kindness. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.